Hey guys, I've got another completed project video for you today. Uh, we're doing this in the studio workspace uh, because currently the presentation table is taken up by a bunch of stuff as I am starting to get everything uh, put together for the expansion. These walls also are going to be getting knocked down soon and I'm looking forward to that. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. This is the Space Wolves objective marker set. It was a lot of fun to put together and it turned out really awesome. So we're just going to kind of close in on some of these details. I kind of went for some nice icy blue glows through everything. And I tried up a new bone uh, base scheme that turned out really nice. So some, uh, some things that I did with this set that are a little new and different is one, uh, I used some uh, just regular old twine string and I applied it to all of the pieces to kind of look like it's holding on the uh, the leather, uh, which this is, you know, my old uh, my old plastic and uh, lighter trick that I use to get that uh, that wavy effect with the plastic, but it also makes it still, you know, durable. Um, what you do with the string is after you've put it in place, I use super glue to attach it and keep points and then I also used a little bit of hot glue here and there to attach it as well where it couldn't actually stick to the foam. Then you use um, scenic cement. Let it soak up into the uh, into the twine and when it dries the twine becomes really rock hard. Uh, the other thing about this is each one of them have a spot for a small dice to be fit. This is for the use of Maelstrom 40k missions. Uh, another thing is the client uh, had requested that we sort of have some sort of like a techno-ish, you know, rune priesty kind of stuff going on. So I put a lot of these glowing wires in all the rune stones, like they're hooked into something, a mixture of, you know, Space Wolf uh, rune priest technology and uh, Mechanicum technology of some sort. Turned out really nice. You've also got all these little Space Wolf bits all over the place. Let's take a look. let's take a look at the relic. The relic's really cool looking as well. So lots of uh, space wolf icons. Now I tried a new bone scheme with this that turned out really well. Hold on, let me get my grip on the camera. I'm not shaking anymore. So what I did is I started with a Vallejo parasite brown, and then I from there dry brushed it up with a uh, I believe it was a pale sand. And then finally did a wash of Agrax Earthshade to achieve this uh, this bone look. It turned out really nice. As you can see there, the snow effects are also pretty prominent on everything. Can't be Space Wolves without a lot of snow. Then you have these little uh, blue OSL highlights. They're very subtle. I think my OSL is also starting to get a little bit better because, you know, for instance, you can actually see the glow a little bit better. I'm actually planning on uh, doing a lot more practice with uh, more advanced techniques to, to get my skill level increased dramatically. And you're always learning something new with every project. I'm, I'm of the mindset that if you don't learn something new with every project, then you're, you're not doing it right for some reason. Always flex your skills. Ah, the turn counters. Yes, let's take a look at these. So these turn counters are actually made of, of rocks. What I did is I grabbed, uh, there's a construction site nearby where they're doing a bunch of work and they had a bunch of gravel. So I grabbed a bunch and I glued it together with a bunch of talus and I put little magnets on the bottom. So what you have here is there's a metal plate embedded in there. Each rock has a number of glowing rocks equal to the turn number. I thought about just using numbers, but it didn't seem like it fit with the runestone feel. So, you know, turn one is just one simple rock and just sits right there. And while these might have a hard time sitting up on their own, once you, uh, once you line up the magnet, it just sits there perfectly. Like you can, you can wiggle it, you can turn it, it stays, uh, stays upright pretty good. And you just do the same thing with alt foam. So as your turns progress, you place the next turn counter right there. And let's take a look at the turn counter itself now that we've kind of gone over everything. What I really like about how the turn counter turned out is you've got a lot of details going on, but it all kind of flows together really well. Uh, the overarching sort of gray that I went for was a very Space Wolf, almost Space Wolf gray. 
And then I decided to go with a lot of brown leathers uh, for the cloths and for the furs. You've also got that bluish glowing wire that's going throughout everything. And that big uh, power axe kind of deal going back here. at the details. And then just a couple of simple little glow points on the actual Space Wolf statue. I figured the eyes would be a good point to pick out and then the uh, the little circle on the belt. Because it, it draws the eye to it, but not too much. And then combined with these two spots on these uh, mechanical stabilizers. Which are actually just, you know, dreadnought legs that I pulled from an old dreadnought kit. So all in all, I think this uh, this turn marker set uh, turned out really nice. Uh, if you would like to get a set like this, uh, as always, feel free to send us a uh, email to projects at titanterrainstudio.com. Uh, I believe this one was a $200 set. And that uh, that is completely duplicatable. If someone would like something like this, we can we can put together something very similar. It may not be identical, uh, because as always with these types of uh, sets, we we very much go for um, original pieces. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more terrain stuff throughout the week.